Double W Elite Squad, you're watching Gizmo 305. Three, three, Back to Gizmo 305. Today, as you can see, we have something epic here on the channel to unbox and review, and that is none other than the authentic Arena Stage Pop Ups from Wicked Cool Toys. Now, I'm really excited to take a look at these. Now, I got these from Ringside Collectibles, so make sure you go to Ringside Collectibles if you want to pick up the same exact Arena sets. I also got the Crowd Pop Ups uh, that we are going to be opening here, and I am going to be showing you guys now. I want to go ahead and at the same time give you an update of how. All my collection rooms look now in my arena rooms and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and let's take a look at what you get when you buy the authentic stage pop-ups let's go all right guys now when you open them up this is what you get straight out of the packaging uh, is the Smackdown and the raw uh, cardboard pieces now they are cardboard I can tell you right now uh, it comes like this as you can see so there's multiple pieces that you got to put together and I'm excited to do that guys uh, so I am gonna go ahead and get started right now I'm gonna go ahead and build those up and we'll get back when I'm done all right guys so I'm finally done building the uh, pop-up stages and let me tell you uh, to my opinion my arenas look awesome I really really enjoy uh, building those pop-ups they're really fun to build and they look amazing so I am gonna go ahead now and do a uh, review of them so let's go and take a look at how my arenas look the pop-up stages and you also get to uh, take a look how my collection rooms look now so let's go all right so right off the bat you know we're gonna start with Smackdown live and there's my arena guys holy cow look at this this is my arena and there is the pop-up stage. This is what your SmackDown Live Wicked Cool Toys pop-up stage will look like. Look how awesome this is. And those right there are also the Wicked Cool Toys uh, crowd pop-ups. So you can get those as well. Like I told you, these are all up on ringside right now if you want to get them. This looks amazing. You can look right there how Daniel Bryan is to scale with the stage basically to what you see every week and i'm going to show you something super cool right now in a couple of seconds that you guys got to see but look how awesome this looks like the view like head on right there it's just amazing right there just like you see every week on smackdown live oh my god and i'm telling you guys when i saw that crowd so as you can see right there the bottom lights they're all like, you know, and, and they go all in blue. So I figured it would look better if I added those to my SmackDown Arena than to my Raw Arena. When you see my Raw Arena, you guys are going to understand why. But as you can see right there, my announcers and my announcer table that I have, the ring is just the perfect size and everything, guys. It just makes the arena look so much cooler. Now, here, I'm going to show you the best part of my arena now, uh, which if you guys think that I'm crazy enough to think this is the best part well let me show you back here because I also built a backstage area now if you can see right there is AJ Styles being interviewed and just like that we go backstage look at that right behind the arena right behind everything just like in real life there it is and it goes all the way to the back if you can see guys right there all of this right now I have uh, Smackdown Live superstars mainly well or some former Smackdown Live superstars that I have here but this is how my arena looks so I'm gonna lift it up and I showed you guys how my whole room looks right there there is the SmackDown ring and arena right there. And then there is the backstage area right there. As you can see, my figure's still in the back. 
most of them almost the same way some of them I moved around uh, and some of them I kept the same some more uh, figures that I got mock as well but this is how my arena looks oh my god guys I am in love with this setup this is so cool now let me show you the one thing I told you I was going to show you about uh, my arena so let me do that now there it is guys I added lights to it now you know the ring when you get it comes with that uh, light bar right there or you know the lights but my stage I added on lights and look how cool that looks guys that brings your stage to life trust me and if I can just manage to get that little like you know scaffolding area right here which I am gonna do I am gonna add that on it's gonna give that full on arena feel so this is my uh, Smackdown arena uh, stage pop-up already built and everything and I can tell you guys that is good quality cardboard right there because I mean look I'm standing Daniel Bryan on it and that's one thing I wanted to tell you and look it has not bent for me for a lot of people I've seen you know they've gotten these and that's the one thing I've seen them say is like oh it bends but for me look I'm actually even moving the figure and it just it's all fine it does not bend it's perfectly fine so yeah that's my Smackdown uh, arena as well with my room as well if you can see in the back and the backstage area that I showed you guys oh my god an awesome backstage area give you guys another look of it there it is and now let's go take a look and see how that raw stage looks let's go all right guys and we are here now on raw and here is my raw arena there you go that is how it looks there's the ring the stage pop-up right there as you can see and the only thing that changes for this pop-up of course is that you know the raw one has the red instead of the blue my crowd right there I have the announcers in the back and I gotta tell you this just looks awesome I really really like the way this looks I mean I gave it this uh, red background that I got from uh, extreme uh, stages and because it's raw and you want raw to look you know the best and it's, you know it's a red background so it looks pretty cool uh, I am gonna keep it you know this way um, the only one sad thing that I believe now after what happened just recently on raw where you know Braun Strowman just kind of crashed Bobby into the uh, stage is that I heard they're gonna have a brand new stage design and that's kind of a bummer but you know overall I still love this stage this are awesome I do recommend you guys to go get these stages because they look super super cool now let me give you a little tour of the rest of the room uh, there is that uh, WWE portrait I have there from you know when the elites used to come with those um, dioramas on this side there is that follow gizmo 305 sign that you guys all saw on uh wwe i took it to the event and you all saw it there so there it is this is my view every morning guys this is my wall of elites here on my other room right there all right guys and real quick before i end this video let me just show you something else uh both the smackdown and the raw arena stages have this so let me just go ahead and bring you in here over the stage if you can see there there is some sort of, a, of like gorilla position there where you can uh, put your superstars when i was building this stage i was really pumped for that i saw that and i was like yeah eventually i am going to go ahead and put some superstars there and you know display them and i am going to do that and i'm going to show you guys how that looks but just the fact that they give you that right there super super awesome from wicked cool toys with this stages so yeah guys that is uh about it and that was the review of the wicked cool toys raw and smackdown live pop up stages i hope you guys like this video as always give me a like turn on notifications is popping up down here let you guys know next time i will be uploading here on youtube Thank you, Smell305. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.